it's Oopsie Daisy here, and. <laughs> Daisy and today I suppose is a bit of a momentous occasion because I've decided to stop doing collectible videos. Ah! I know. Basically, um, I've just kind of discovered they're not my thing. I mean, I still enjoy doing it myself and I'm not saying this, this is going to be the last collectible video I ever do in my life, but I've decided that it's just not what I want to do with my channel. I am sorry. Okay, so I've decided that my channel is going to be anime videos, video games, mostly MMORPGs, but I'm not limiting myself strictly to those, because there's a ton of other games in the world that aren't MMORPGs. And I'm also going to be doing vlogs. Now granted, I'm going to be stretching the definition of vlogs because, you know, I'm still going to be doing book hauls occasionally. I'm going to be doing random things. Vlog is basically my category for just doing whatever type of videos I want because I want to. I am a free spirit. But in the spirit of the day, I'm going to open up all of the collectibles that I stash up so that we can just have a big goodbye party to my official collectible videos and just have fun doing it. So let's get on to that. Okay, so this is my collection that I have procured in preparation for all of my other um, collectible videos that mm, aren't gonna happen. So, here we go. Okay, so I've decided that the first thing we're going to open is these Webkins, which all I really know about them is that they have a code inside of them for a game that I have never played. So let's crack this puppy open. Okay, so I got the back off and out falls this little code, which, you know, that's there. And then um, this comes off and then we have this little figurine, which should pop out, but of course isn't going to. Okay, ah. Here we go. So, this is the Three Cheers Tiger. I am fairly certain that she is a girl. And she's obviously a cheerleader. Three Cheers Tiger, and let's get on to the next one. This one is called Picnic Charcoal Cat. I think she is very, very adorable with her little picnic basket and her little pink dress. So. Let us commence opening this one. This is the little picnic charcoal cat, which I think is adorable. And probably has many yummy little treats in her basket. So, okay, so this is Karate Cat. Again, with the code inside. I like martial arts myself, so I find this kind of funny. And then you have this lovely little pink cat in a karate shoot suit. When I was into Kung Fu, I think they called these Gi, or G, depending on how you pronounce your G's. So yes, that is the little karate cat. Hiya! Meow! So this is the Chow Down Duck. So let's see what this one holds. These are very stout little figurines, just so you know. They actually feel like really, really hard acrylic. They're not just like little plastic things. They're like pretty, I mean, they're like, I mean, they're not light, <laughs> is what I mean. So this is the Chow Down Duck. It's pretty self-explanatory in my opinion. It's a hungry duck. <laughs> okay, so now we have the Roller Pig, which, you know, begin roller skates. 
we've got our little code here. And, you know, obviously that, those little cards are adorable. Okay, so after a quick careen onto my floor, here is the roller pig, which I think is actually pretty cute. Again, these are not lightweight, cheap figurines. They are actually quite a nice little hunk of plastic. So, roller pig. This one doesn't want to stand up, but judging by his footwear, I know why. And this is the last one, which is Lifeguard Googles. That sounds like copyright infringement. So, here we go. Again, we've got little code cards flinging out every which way. So, I'll just put this over here and remove our little friend from his plastic entrapment. Anyway, here it is. He has no arms, which probably makes his job just a tad more complicated. Has a nice big lifeguard emblem on his back, and he's pretty much rocking those shades. That is all of the little webkins figures that I acquired today. So now let's move on to something else. Okay, and now I'm going to be opening up some yokai watch figurines. Now, this one that looks kind of like a bit of a unhappy ramen stand is no way non part Ninhoblar. Nihoblar? Uh, he doesn't look happy. Okay, then we have Jibanyan, which means something cat, I believe. If you are Japanese, I am sorry if I butchered your language. But, um, he's kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, I haven't watched Yokai Watch yet. <laughs> kind of ironic. And here we have. Komajiro, so he seems very happy. That's that. And then we have two dog tags, one with what looks to be Komajiro on it, and the other with Jibanyan. So I think I'm gonna start with this one. Let's just tear this one open like this. And hopefully we'll get one of the limited edition shaped ones or whatever. We have some fake tattoos, stickers, and the infamous checklist. So, which one did I get? Oh, I got, um, Komajiro. That's a nice looking dog tag. I mean, seriously. So, I'll just dump him out. Come on, there we go. Now that is a nice little semi-holographic dog tag. Has his name on the back. There's a little bit of lamination problem there. Probably supposed to take that off. If I had to guess. So, yeah, it comes off. So, just take off the little tiny bit of lamination they put on there. And you have one very snazzy looking dog tag. I might actually wear this. <laughs> this is cute. So, and the other one actually has Komajiro on the front. So, let's tear this one open. Again, we have the sticker, the fake tattoos, and the checklist. And I accidentally peeked it earlier, but it looks like, like the other one that had um, Jibanyan on it. And I got Komajiro, and this one had Komajiro on it, and I got Jibanya. Let's get this out of here. Again, just roll the lamination off the back. And here we go. I don't like this one quite as much, but it still is pretty cute. So, that is the Jibanyan Yokai Watch dog tag. To continue with the pattern, let's open Komajiro and see what surprises we have inside of this little one. We have the little checklist, I'm guessing. So, yes, <laughs> I was not wrong. So, 
Komojito carries his little token in the back. So, oh, this is a little disc with a QR code on the back. We'll see what that does. Oh, so there's like a watch that you put these in. Komojito and his little disc. I think that is a beautiful little yokai. I'm not exactly sure what kind it is. So, yeah. And here is Jibanyan in action figure form. We'll just tear his little backing off. And there was his little exclusive token. And out pops Jibanyan. Now, if I do say so myself, he has a divided behind. Will he stand up? Yes! I didn't expect that. And then he has his own little flashy little backdrop behind him. So he has his own little <laughs> special effect in his little figurine form. I think that's cute. Meow. Here's the last one. This is No Way Non Part Ni Nihablar. He seems to hold his little token in his hands, if I had to guess by the strange indents. But, uh, let's get this puppy open. Okay, so... He seems to be very upset with this or something. So that is, um... I'm just gonna say no way, because it's easier. So that is a little apprehensive ramen stand, if I had to guess. These are a little bit more plasticky, but they are still... Er, they're softer, I guess. These are just not like glazed. Da the Webkins ones were almost like glass, and these are um, more like, you know, just nice, nice plastic. They're very sturdy and just a teeny bit flexible. Okay, so these are all of the yokai watch figures that I got. I had to kind of uh, wedge Jibanyan up because his um, little feet wouldn't stand up on the table. But for the most part, these are pretty good quality. I hope you enjoyed it. And now we are going to move on to something else. Okay, so now we're going to be opening some Magic Mimis. Now, I've never heard of these, I've never seen them, but I saw this little guy and I thought he was so cute that I bought a couple and now I'm going to open them. So, here we go. This is the first one. Now let's just rip off the little top here. Uh, according to the package, there's supposed to be 26 of these. And... My goodness, they certainly spared no expense on the checklist. It looks about like a 7 by 10... 8 by 10? And they are interactive. I didn't know that. So, these toys actually do something. And I just dropped mine. Um, it doesn't have a face, and it appears to be <coughs> a pina colada, I think, maybe? So, there's nothing else in the package, so, yeah, uh, that was thrilling. And here we have number two. So, we have the checklist, and... We have what appears to be a salt shake. I said that was supposed to do something, it didn't. So, okay, so these require batteries. I don't know where you'd put them. And they don't really do anything, and they look similar to food. So, um, yeah, magic memes. Okay, so now I'm going to be opening up some Swinkies. And these are Squinkies Dew Drops Mystery Villa. And you're supposed to get two Squinkies and one Dew in a villa. Which means probably three figures somewhere in here. So, let's pop it open and see what we get. This is the checklist. Ooh, it's pretty sizable. Oh my. Okay, now let's see which little surprises we get. Ooh, these are tiny bags. Let me just go snip. And this is a little birdie. Now, once I finish opening these, I will identify them and give you their exact names. Okay. 
So this is the little birdie. Ooh, this is a little girl. Yeah, she's a pretty little girl. There is a do. So a squinky is one of these little figurines that you can apply hair to. So you can take this little thing of hair and put it on the little birdie. Isn't that cute? So two squinkies and a do. These are cute. This is the pony do. This is the little pony do. And then the little birdie is Penelope Peep. This is Penelope Peep. Oh, she's a pencil topper. Because there's a little tab in there, a little slot in there. You just have to line those up and get her a little do stuck on, like that. This is Penelope Peep and the pony do. And this, this is Bitsy Bella, which is a cute little girl. Bitsy Bella. Little skirt. Okay, so let's try for number two. Okay, so we've got the checklist, and we've got our little squinkies in a do. Yes, this is a cute little safari hat. We have a little purple haired girl. My favorite color is purple. A little purple hair, she has a little heart on her shirt. Ooh, she got a little giraffe. Isn't that cute? Reminds me of Melman from Madagascar. And he's cute. Now, let's see what we got. Okay, so this is Tina Teeny. And this is little Gigi Buttercup. So I guess she doesn't remind me of Melman because she's a girl. So, she also has a little thing to where you can dress her up to. And we got the Explorer Do. So, we'll put that on the little giraffe girl. So there is Gigi Buttercup with her little Explorer Do. And judging by the shadow, that is a very effective little sun hat. Okay, so here's our next one. I'm just gonna open this one up carefully. Oops, and pull out of all of our little squinkies. These bags are really thin, so I'll just tear them, I think. Here we got, ooh, this one looks very fashionable. This little curly top with cat eye glasses. And then the other end we've got. Ooh, she's a mermaid. Got a little mermaid squeaky. She's adorable. Sorry, it was a little hard to get open. You have a little teeny tiny little clam. That is also eligible for hat wearing. Let's see what their actual names are. So this is the Granny Do. And this is Pearly Pebbles. And this is Melinda Shells. So you can't see her tail very well right there. Here we go. She's adorable. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so here we go. Okay, here we go. So let's tear open this one. Pop. Here's another tiny teen or Tina teeny. Here's another one. Didn't expect to get a double. Tina teeny. And this is little toucan. He's very dashing in his lime green. And we got a little purple top hat. We got a little teeny purple top hat. So, isn't that cute? Okay, so this is Can Can Fran. She's a girl. There we go. This is the top do. We have a little toucan 
wearing a top hat. <laughs> All of these fats are very effective against UV rays, apparently. And this is the last one that I got. We have a little fishy. Little blue fishy. We have a little, this looks like a little blue doggy. Yep, a little blue doggy. And finally, our little do is a little braided hair. Now that's pretty. I like that. Let's put this on the doggy because he looks just a teeny bit bald. There's that. Let's see who we got. So this is the Brady Do, and the little doggy is called Benny Biscuit. There we go. There's Benny Biscuit. Last but not least is this is little Splash Flash. It's a very flashy looking fish. Okay, so that's the end of my basically goodbye collectibles videos party, but I do have some more stuff, like some little crafting things that I bought that I'm going to make videos on um, until I can get everything converted. So I hope you have a really good day, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, also don't forget to hit the bell, the little notification bell that tells you when I post things. Don't forget to hit that. I hope you have a really awesome day. Bye!